Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Excel macros to do Goal Seek with multiple cells. Goal Seek is a powerful tool in Excel that allows you to find the input value needed to achieve a desired output value. In this tutorial, I'll be using macros to automate the process of goal seeking across multiple cells. So let's jump right in. Here on your screen, you can see a table consisting of uh, sales by various regions from region one to region 12. They are last year sales, they are this year sales, and the percentage change. Okay, assuming we are asked that, okay, what should this year's sales be? in order for the percentage change to be 5%. How do we do that? So we use a simple function in Excel or a simple feature in Excel called Goal Seek. So I'm going to uh, just do that. So you go to the menu here and select data. Okay, first of all, let your cursor be on the uh, function that's your target cell, okay? Uh, you don't have to select the target cell, but you can select it first okay so you go to data and then under what if analysis you select goal seek you see that it has selected the cell for you already so we want to set cell e4 here okay to value we want to make it five percent five percent by changing cell so the by changing cell is this cell d right here that is this year's cell this year's cells which is what d4 you can click on the arrow here and just select d4 and take a look at the go seek window for a minute so we want to set cell e4 which is a target cell okay so e4 is a target cell to value of 5%, okay, by changing this cell, that is cell D4. So once you click OK, it loops through and does the calculation. So it has finished. So click on OK. So it has found a solution. So the solution is that if this year's sales is $23,653, okay, the percentage change will be five dollars because that is the target we want to achieve a five percent target so for us to be able to achieve the five percent this year sales has to be twenty three thousand, and that is how the goal seek is the limitation of the goal seek under the menu here is such that it does go seek on only one cell at a time you cannot do it on multiple cells in a row okay so that is where automation comes in so i'm going to go through the process and i'm going to use macros to automate the process so that instead of doing one cell at a time my automation is going to loop through each row it's going to loop through each row until it gets finished and runs the goal seek on each row based on the goal that we have set the first example set a goal of five percent but maybe there's a different goal for each region. Okay, so I'm going to go into the Excel developer tab and then just start from there and introduce you to how to write a simple macro. So in order to write a macro, we go to the developer tab and then under the developer tab, we can start a new macro here or we can press F. Alt F11, the same thing. So we click on the macros. You can see that there are a couple of macros in here. We want to write our macro in this workbook. So we we'll just select in this workbook and it's blank. Okay. And then I'm going to call our macro a name. There's a name there already. I'm going to remove it. So the macro name is going to be called Go Seek with multiple cells as a long name but bear with me so it's go seek with multiple cell is my macro and then i'm going to click on create so once i click on create it creates the shell of our macro 
Now I'm going to fill out the shell of the macro with the macro itself. Okay, so the first thing we are going to put in inside this uh, macro, it's a variable that is going to loop from row to row. Because now we are not doing this go seek on just one row or one cell. We want to do this in all these rows. So we are going to create a loop, okay? So we need to have a loop, which I'm going to use in this process. So I'm going to write the first loop variable. Let's call it maybe Vim J as integer. So I'm declaring a variable called J as an integer. And let me go through and write all of this fast and then I'll explain what I'm doing, okay? So now the macro is um, completed. I've finished writing the macro. So let's take a look at what this macro is doing. So the first line of the macro, or well, is that declaring the, the macro and it's called go seek with multiple cells. Now the second line is declaring a variable that is called J as an integer, which starts from 14. So J starts from four, sorry, to 15. So on your screen, you can see we are working from row four to row 15. So this integer J is going to run from row four to 15. And as it goes line by line, it runs the go seek on each line, goes to the next line and runs the go seek. The next J here, meaning that once it finishes one line, it goes to the beginning. Then J becomes five. Or well, it started with the four. It becomes row number five. It goes through, runs the go seek. And then it increases by one, goes to six, goes through, and then goes in that fashion until it gets to row number 15. Now, in between the, the four and then the next, it has a script here. And I'm going to explain you what this is happening, what, what is happening here. So cells J, E. J, E cells J, the cell J, E means that for instance, if J takes on the value four, and the cells four E E four is written like this. So when you see cells with let's say an X Y or cells one two one E, it means it is E one. Okay, so it's just the address of the cell is what I'm having here. So when J is four, we have cells um, E four. So this will be E four. So dot go seek. And that is supposed to be the target cells, the percentage chain. That is what we want to change. And then the goal is what we have in column G. We want the goal to be 5%. That is what we did the first time. So the goal, so the goal here will be what? Four, when, when it J takes on its first value of four, it's going to be what? Cell G4, which is the, the first cell right here. And then by changing cell, changing cell is equal to cells J, D. So remember J has taken a value of four. So this is going to was by changing cell D4 because the row comes first before the column. So it is going to be cell D4. And cell D4 is going to be the this D and then the line four. So it's going to be D4 right here. That is what we are changing in order to achieve a target of 5%. So this is a simple loop that I've written. Okay. So assuming that we have set goals for each region, okay each of the 10 regions. And I'm going to go ahead and set the goals. So let's see, the first cell, we want to set a goal of 7% for them. The second, we are going to set a goal of 5%. Region three, maybe they do so well. So we are setting a goal of 15% for them. And I'm going to continue in that fashion. Now we can go ahead and create a button for users so that they can use that to do their goal seek instead of jumping into the Microsoft Visual Basic Editor to 
uh, right uh, to to run to run the macro. So I'm going to go ahead and create the button, and the creation of the button is very simple. Uh, we know that the name of the the macro is go sick with multiple cells. So I'm going to get out of the Visual Basic Editor and then go to Developer, Insert a button. Then we can draw the button here. Once you go there, it's, it's called Macro Name and this, the name is Button Click. But then what we have to select the macro that we are going to work with. So this is the macro. And then we say okay now we can rename this macro and then we say we can call it let's say go seek so this is a button in the form that we can run so assuming that we want to uh, create another goal for them again because they are doing so well maybe we want to create another goal let's see how we do it i'm going to go ahead and change region one's go to let's say 9%, region 2 we want to make it 15%, maybe region 3 is not doing so well, so we want to uh, say, okay, this time around, we are making it minus, or even, let's say, just 2%, we give them, it's like 2%, and I'm going to um, go through the rest. So now, I have a new goal, okay, so what, what should this year's sales be, in order for us to achieve these goals right here so now the only thing we need we have a button already so just click the button and that's it it's done it takes less than like a millisecond so this is so this is going to be the this year sales what this year sales is going to be in order for us to get these percentages that i had here okay the goals the goals okay so that's it that is how to use go save with multiple cells. With this technique, you can save time and streamline your workflow by automating repetitive tasks. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Excel tutorials and tips like this.